In this video, we're going to review the process for reassigning notes for either co-signing or reviewing. And I'm going to give two examples. The first example, we're going to complete a note as though I was a student or a physician assistant or nurse practitioner and needed to have my note co-signed by a supervising physician. In the second example, we will show how to assign a note back to another physician, which doesn't necessarily need to be co-signed, but perhaps needs to be reviewed in response to a consultation. You can see the two patients that I have here. These are both fake patients. I'm going to open the first one. And here I have my note, which I have finished. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to lock it. Now it's locked and you can see my signature here. In this case, if I were a physician assistant, for example, and I needed to send it to my supervising provider, there are a couple ways that I could do it. First, I can click the green caret next to details and change assign to. When I go here, the window will immediately highlight where it's going to go. Because, so all I have to do is type the uh, first few letters of the person's last name to get it to go right there. In this case, I'm going to send it to me, and all I'm going to do is hit OK. That's it. In the second example, I'm going to go here. Again, this is another note that I've now finished. Let's say that I am a consultant. I've finished this, and I'm going to send it back to the referring provider. And this is a, a physician who's in my clinic using eClinical Works. I'm going to lock it the same way that I normally do. And this time, I could go up and do the same thing with the change assigned to. And I can just start typing the physician's last name where I want to send it. Also notice there's this notes box. And I can click a timestamp in here and write anything I want. and they will see that message, and I can click OK. Alternatively, I'm going to cancel this. I could go back and do this from the scheduling screen, and I could do this, or a medical assistant could do this with the appropriate permissions enabled in eClinical Works. If you click on the lock right here, you'll get the same window, and there it is. And here I'm going to add the timestamp. And now I'm going to hit OK. Now initially, both steps are the same, whether I was a physician assistant or nurse practitioner needed to send this for co-signature, or if I was a specialist sending this back to my referring partner. Now you can see the completed notes that have been assigned to you for co-sign or review by clicking in the S Jelly Bean. I don't show any right now because my S Jelly Beans haven't uh, cycled yet, so I'm going to force that. And now when you look, I can see that I have two progress notes to review. Coincidentally, if you've ever had a zero on your S Jelly Bean and it's still yellow and you're wondering why it's still lit up, it's probably because you have progress notes to review that were sent to you by someone else. And here they are. Here's the first one. And this was the one where I was imagining that I was a physician assistant and referring this back so that it could be co-signed. Once I click on it, as the supervising physician, I can scroll through it, make sure that I agree with it, that everything is fine there. Assuming that it is, I'm going to click on the lock, the same window comes up, and because I'm co-signing this, I'm going to click co-sign and hit OK. It drops off the list. I can now click and highlight the second one for the new patient. In this case, imagine that this was sent to me from one of my partners. It doesn't need a co-signature, but it needs some notation that I reviewed it. I'm going to click on the lock same window pops up and notice here's the message that they sent so I could write another message and I could even reassign it back to them if I wanted. Typically I wouldn't do that but the option is there. In this case because I'm getting this from another specialist it doesn't need co-signature it just needs marking reviewed. So I'm going to mark it reviewed and click OK. I'm now done with both of those and let's go back and see what they look like. First of all I'm going to go to Wolverine open his most recent note. Here's the note that I sent as if I was the physician assistant. When we scroll down, you can see my original signature. Now you can see electronically co-signed by me. Now in this case, it doesn't quite make sense because I'm the same person both times. But this would show, in this example, the physician assistant signature. And then it would show mine as the co-signer. 
going back to my other fake patient, I can scroll down to the bottom and notice there's the original signature by the rendering physician. There's not any notation made on the chart that says reviewed by the second physician. However, it is captured in the log files any clinical work. So if there was ever a question of if I had seen this note or not, the log files would show that that was the case. This is the process that can be used for both co-signing in the example of those notes from providers who need a co-signature as well as reviewing. In doing this, you can make sure that all of your notes get co-signed as needed and following your clinic's practice guidelines. Also, if you're a referring provider, you can simply send the note back this way and you don't have to worry about faxing or messaging. Um, and then the referring provider will see your note and it's logged, meeting the criteria for a referral. Uh, and this would stand up in the case of an audit. That's it. That's the whole thing. It's very simple. Thank you.